Hi there, Jill McIsaac here from Wildlife Fitness once again and we are getting so close to Tough Mudder. We just had Warrior Dash last weekend. Hopefully you guys all had a great time doing that. I know that our group had an, an amazing time and uh, it got me thinking that I need to do a piece on wardrobe uh, and what you're going to wear for the event. This is actually quite important to plan out, to pre-plan your wardrobe. And yes, I know there's a costume contest and uh, the, you can wear your princess tutu or Batman cape and that, that's awesome too. But just be aware of some of the things that might happen in uh, your costumes. Uh, and if you really want to be comfortable, I'm going to give you a few tips on what to wear. And First of all, you want to wear something in a material that is going to be quick dry. So remember those spandex from the 90s? Those are totally in for Tough Mudder. And also the brighter the better, of course. Uh, but and shorter and tight. You want tight things, tight fitting to your body. The problem is, is that if you're not wearing tight fitting clothing, then it's going to get wet and it's going to hang off of your body and that extra weight is not going to be comfortable on you. So something um, at, like a spandex, uh, something that is quick dry is the material you want to go to and tight fitting. Now you're going to be crawling things and going up things that may you may be getting rope burn or all of those things and that's just going to happen and you can, you know, that's part of it. But there are things to minimize the uh, the road rash and all of those things. What I have here is a neoprene pad. Um, wearing this on your knees uh, can be very helpful. That way you can still wear shorts uh, if it's a very hot day. You can also get elbow pads in the neoprene as well. This you can find in like Canadian Tire. This is a really old one. I used to wear it in baseball and for sliding. So it, it can take a lot of wear and tear on it. So knee pads if you'd like uh, and elbow pads. Just think about the crawling that you're going to do. Now some people have asked, should I wear gloves? And the answer is, if you can get a weightlifting glove without the fingers, sure, go for it. But I think that's going to be something that will hinder you. Uh, just get out there and practice rope climbing and certain things. Uh, it's Tough Mudder. It's one day. You're going to get down and dirty and maybe have a scratch or a, a scar or something at the end of it. Uh, you'll be fine. So the key things. Also, um, headgear. Uh, if you would like to wear a bandana or a hat, it could be very, very hot, uh, very important. And sunscreen. What I have on my head um, is like a bathing suit material. You can buy this in a fabric store and then you can tie it behind you to keep the sweat off of you, but then also not collecting uh, water. The worst thing that you can possibly wear is is cotton. Cotton is the worst. It will drag on you, it will hang, it will collect the water. You know Tough Mudder is wet, so think about that. In fact, why not go in a bathing suit? <laughs> um, now, in terms of shoes, I have uh, Vibram shoes on, the five finger toe shoes. If you're not comfortable wearing that, uh, make sure whatever running shoes you wear, first of all, you've trained in them so you know they're comfortable and you know you can wear them. And second of all, tie them on. Tie on your shoes. In the mud, your shoes can be... Uh, and there's my dog. In the mud, your shoes can come off and you don't want that to happen. You don't want to have to be looking for your shoes and trust me, I've seen that happen. Now finally on equipment and what you're wearing, really important, we're uh, about four weeks out now. Whatever you're going to wear, practice wearing it. It's important to practice wearing it. You don't want to wear your brand new Superman costume uh, the first day out. If you're going to put a Superman costume on, wear it to train in. You'll look awesome running down the street with your cape. And your neighbors will think you're super cool as well. So that being said, get your costume, get your wardrobe in order, go out and practice it. Think uh, material that does not stay wet, do not pick cotton. And get out there on the hills and practice hard, hard, hard now. And I'm going to give you a workout that you can do for the next week. Have fun!